that a uh, yeah, captain of the side and now come on now be and now uh, amano uh, directed this message to uh, you know because you'll be a feliz and you there you there or a uh, captain of the side also starting at there but coach chris you in the first game angola or amano So thank you very much once again for staying with us and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always a pleasure to have you join us. Coach Chris Uten, I can in Simbi actually the Black Stars players. Now, <laughs> yes, he sent a strong message to the Black Stars players. We are going to talk about all of that. You know that Coach Chris Uten had his first press conference ahead of the Ghana versus Madagascar game. Ah, yeah, but ball on June 18th, 2023, in TYN press conference. He went with um Joseph Pinto. I'm going to bring you the details, the reactions, the analysis of all the things these two men said at the press conference yesterday. Now, my special focus is the fact that all oh, Casa about the starting 11 now all sending a strong message to all Black Stars players. Yeah, I na you who dear ever call honum do war. Say, I'll be subscribing to this channel. Am I um hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below the comment section if you have any. It's always always a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very, very much. But please, we have a new channel, Sports 7 GH Extra on YouTube, Sports 7 GH Extra on YouTube. So you search it on in or the search engine at the search engine and then you subscribe to that channel also for us. Please do all to subscribe to the channel. You know that we are doing this with you and we are always grateful that you keep pushing us and you keep um, supporting us. So please subscribe to Sports 7 GH Extra on youtube for us now let's go straight into the issues ghana black stars will be playing versus uh, madagascar on the 18th of june 2022 all the players are in camp except one player gideon mensa who is injured and cannot play that particular game so all the 24 players actually trained yesterday and then today they will be training again but then based on reports it will be behind closed doors so no media person will be allowed to go to this particular training and then tomorrow um, they will fly to madagascar to play that particular away game and a coach chris Hutton and joseph pencil has been speaking ahead of the game the first point the um, chris Hutton made was that the most important thing is to get the um, resource that is chris Hutton on black stars so the most important thing is that he wins the game and that is that's that's, that's the point it's not about playing so beautiful or playing not so beautiful the most important thing is that he wins the game for us and i'm sure that is what every Ghanaian is expecting because winning this game will more or less secure our qualification to the 2024 african cup of nations the uh, uh, it will be it will be left with one last game which will be versus um central african republic in ghana get a point so if we win this game we are um we are through to the um, the competition so it is important that we win the game and not bring upon ourselves on on unwanted or unnecessary pressure to beat central african republic in ghana here so um i'm sure the black stars will obviously win that particular game let's look at the next point um that is joseph pencil speaking he says that there's no pressure on me to score against madagascar of course there's no pressure on you yes yeah, joseph pencil there will be no pressure on you because you are not um you don't even know whether you are going to start or not <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. You don't know. You don't know whether you are going to start or not. So if you are coming from the beach, how can there be pressure on you? But if you are starting there, you have to score. It's not a pressure, but you have to score. There's no. It's not pressure. But the Black Stars um, um, is a demanding team okay the the people of ghana demands a lot from the senior national team the blaster so uh it is not pressure but it is a demand <laughs> i 
I don't know if the demand is a pressure there, but it is a demand. You have to score, and you need to score. If you, oh, of course, but if you are an attacker, what do you have to do? Okay, you have to, you can play well, and then you can assist and all of that. But the scoring is also important because that gives us the three points. You get the point? Yeah, no. And then we have three points. No, so we are attacker, and right now there is no Inaki Williams or no out and out number nine in the team. So it means that the wingers, Norseman, Bukari, Jordan, are you come out in all of you, Joseph Fent. So you have to be scoring at the away game so that we win and qualify for um, the AFCON 2024. Um, yes, um, over there. So Joseph Fent, so that's the first thing he talked about, and then we look. And the next thing to be talked about, and then Joseph Pinto again, he says that Black Stars players ready to overcome club um, struggles and give their all. Basically, he was talking about the fact that um, most of the Black Stars players don't start in their national team, um, in their, at their club site. So he says that the club form, you no, know, where which they are in, you no, know, um, it will not affect what they will deliver to the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars over there. So he says that the players are ready to overcome club struggles. And you know that a lot of the players in the Black Stars, you no, know, they went on relegation. The uh, Daniel Amati, Kamal Din Sulemana, um, Alex, um, um, Gideon Mensa. Yes, so. Some of the players went on relegation. Some of them also won one or two titles, Osman Bukhari and the rest. So he, he says that the struggles at their club side will not affect the national team. And that is what we expect. That is the reason why we don't call local players, but we call you because we know that you have exceptional qualities. You have exceptional quality as a player than all these local players. And so when you come, irrespective of your form at the club side, you have to deliver and deliver very well for us over there so that is joseph pinto there's some tidbits of what he said and this is the main point we've been talking about there is no standout starting 11 for the black stars chris hilton yes <laughs> there is no standout starting 11 for the senior national team the black stars and this is according to the coach of the side chris hilton what he means is that the other one children you know is it Black stars no obey or cause like by force no be starting. You get the point, like a starting place in the starting eleven. Nobody is assured of a starting place in the starting eleven, and that is the news. Um, Chris Hutin or the message Chris Hutin is giving to the senior national team, the Black Stars players. Now a very very interesting message because it's the bold statement. Look. Some of these things, the coaches tell the players at the dressing room then things. But if he comes out at a press conference to say some of these things, he's trying to send the message to certain players that look, don't be pompous, don't feel like you have a starting place in the starting eleven or by hook or crook you start. That is what that's what that's what that's what Chris Uti is trying to say. It's not by hook or crook you start. It's by your performance. He says that players need now a friend. All the Black Stars players now. Of friend, all of them are capable of starting, and so they fight for their starting place or starting position. And so, be any honoma or starting, uh, you will. and I'm sure he's directing this message to Andrew Dede. Are you may very sure that a uh, captain of the side and now come on now be and now Amano uh, directed this message to uh, you know, because you'll be a Felix Andrew Dede, are you there or a captain of the side also starting there, there. but coach Chris Uti in the first game, Angola or Amanan Second game now, only as me pra me call not the forest. And T, when you ever hear so best starting Andrew Didi, you are another one started up. But it will be another statement for Andrew Didi, are you and um, and his people. And T, I'm sure the Aquaco see or hold them. Yes, Coach Chris Hutin, let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of this particular video. Thank you very much for staying with us. Definitely, I'm going to see you in the next update. Please do all to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell. And select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any please don't forget also to search sports 7 gh extra on youtube and subscribe to the channel for us sports 7 gh extra on youtube and subscribe to that particular channel also for us thank you very much bye bye